Hey everybody, happy Friday. It's time for another Facebook Friday. This week we are using Bistro Burger. And I said last week, this is a funny little set, a little weird, right? But I love it. I've had so much fun with it. I have three projects for you today and then I'll have two more next week. Um, you know, the, this set at first I was like, oh, I'm not sure it's not drawn the way I like. <laughs> I like it when it's just a black line image, right? With not a lot of detail, but this is really fun. And once I started playing with it, I was like, okay, I love this set. So I think you guys will like today's projects. Um, we're going to do uh, two cards and a gift card holder. I'll have a box for you next week. Um, okay. I'm going to move quickly today because these projects actually took a, took a while. Um, I made some individual recordings of them and they were longer than I thought they were going to be. I thought they were easy, but whenever you color and, and watercolor, it takes a while. Hope you guys have had a good week. Have you checked out the, the sale that is going on? We have a bundle sale. All the stamp die bundles and cut and emboss machines are on sale. So I'm going to show you, I'm going to flip you guys around really quickly. Hello, everybody. Good to see you. All right, let's see if I can get you guys here. Oh, my iPad just turned off. Uh oh, okay, hold on. Let me find the me. Oh, there we are. Ooh, paused in a very unflattering picture, of course. Why do they always do that? Okay, the bundle sale. 10% um, off, which doesn't sound like a lot, but when you consider that the bundles are already on sale. They've taken the stamp and the dies and put them together to make a sale price already and then take another 10% off. Um, that's pretty significant. And I'm gonna show you on the website. Let's see, let's zoom in a bit. I know that the um, glare isn't the best, but when you go to the Stampin' Up! website, there's this scrolling thing right here that you can click on, but you can also click these three little dots and right here, specials and then the bundle sale, and you'll see all of them. And um, I guess I'll point out some of my favorites. Round We Go is what we're gonna do next week for Facebook Friday, okay? And then Pocket Thoughts are what we're gonna do the week after, okay? So I've already got those planned. There's Friendly Fins, if you haven't gotten Friendly Fins. Um, let's see, we've got some things out of stock. The Spotlight on Nature dies are out of stock. So when that happens, you can't order the bundle. You have to wait. The Keeping Tabs bundle is $24.75, which felt very cheap to me. Um, the Market Goodness uh, is on sale. It's already an expensive 36 and now it's down to 32. Burger Bistro today is on sale for $40.75. Um, the little cutest onesie bundle, have you guys seen this? It has a little onesie and a little coat hanger and one, two, three, a rattle. It's only $24. I, I thought that was a mistake too. Here's Tune In that we used last week, only $36.75. Um, Friends for Life, $47. So go through here and look. It's not just the new bundles. Um, it's some of the ones from the uh, older catalog or, you know, from last year's catalog. Attention Shoppers, $35. They'll be on sale all month. But as you know, as these things happen, um, when things go on sale, things go out of stock. So if you want something and you want to get that sale price, I'm trying to find my Facebook Live now, then make sure to order sooner rather than later. Um, when things go out of stock, they don't do back orders anymore. It's too expensive for the company to do that. So they just turn the number off and you can't order it until they get back in stock. Um, which can be frustrating, but you know, that's the way things go. Happens to me on other websites too. So just know if there's something you want, um, here are the uh, cut and emboss machine bundles. The little boho blue one is 56.70. The white one is 59.40 and the big one is 117. So a bundle sale. Have we ever had a bundle sale? I don't think we ever have had a bundle sale. I don't remember ever having, I mean, we have different sales from time to time, paper, you know, select stamps, but I don't ever remember having a bundle sale, which is really fun. Okay, let me remind you about Club Create because today is the very last day to subscribe to Club Create for June. Um, cutoff is at 11.59 p.m. and there's no late 
So if you join late, you'll get next month's kit, um, which is awesome too. I'm going to show you that in a second. But if you want to get the Adventurous Sky June Club Create Kit, you got to sign up today, no later than today. It's $45. You get about $25 in product, five projects, PDF, video, and shipping. And if you stay around six months, you get a $25 product credit of your choice. They come and they look like this. All right. All right, so that's Club Create. There's a tab at the top of my blog, pinkbuckaroo.com, that says Club Create. The very top, you'll see the Adventurous Sky photo, and there's a link there that you can subscribe. Now, starting tomorrow, the subscription period opens up for the Citrus Blooms class, or the Mediterranean Blooms. And let me tell you, I love, love this suite. If you have ever been to Italy or Greece, you're gonna be very reminiscent of uh, that. It, I can like smell the lemons as I cut these pa this paper. Just you know, so so fun, so fun. It just takes you back. But uh, four cards and a 3D um, hand sanitizer holder. Right now at Bath and Body Works, they have a, an Amalfi Coast collection, which is blue and white, and has either oranges or lemons, so it coordinates perfectly with this suite. Um, so this club is also $45, also $25 in product, same deal, but the subscription period for this starts tomorrow. So if you don't want the Adventurous Sky, but you want to sign up for this, wait until tomorrow, okay? Um, the PDFs for both will be available. Um, this one I won't put up until Monday, but the Adventurous Sky PDF with the embedded video in there is available now in my PDF store. Okay, that is that. Um, the ducks, Charming Duck Pond. So the bundle has gone um, on unorderable, out of stock, but the, it's the dies. And the dies will be back in stock. It says the week of June 24th, fingers crossed. So if you were hoping to get that, don't worry. Um, I, my Charming Duck class won't ship until June, around June or July 5th because I'm going to be gone. Um, this class is super cute. There's a mini album in this class that I am madly in love with. If you love these ducks as much as I do, make sure to sign up. There's four options with the bundle, without the bundle, PDF only, and my team. Um, today, at the bottom of today's blog post, as well as on today's PDF, there's a link to the details of this class right here. So you can um, go and read all the details on that. Okay, deadline to sign up for this is June 21st, which I believe is two weeks from today. Okay, there's that. A new all-star tutorial PDF. This one features the Take to the Sky suite. This is different than Club Create. These are not the same projects. This is 12 video tutorials by 12 different designers. My daughter was just in here and she started reading the name. She's like, who's that? Who's that? So they're all listed right here. Some are from Australia, Canada, the UK, um, South Pacific, United States, and all the projects are listed in Imperial and Metric. There's a video, supply list, measurements, everything that you need. And mine is this box that holds a candy bar and money. You know, perfect for Father's Day. It says happy birthday, but you can make it a, a, a um, happy Father's Day. All right, so that's my project. If you go back one blog post, you will find the information about this. You get it free if you spend um, $50 or more with me in June. Um, it's also available in my PDF store. Now, next month, July, we'll, we will open up subscriptions again for the All-Star Tutorial um, PDF. If you purchase a lot of the PDFs, that might be a good idea for you because you get the sixth month for free. So be on the lookout for that in July, okay? Okay, that is that. What else? Is that it? I'm trying to like go fast today. Fast, fast, fast. I think that's it. Boy, I did that in like record time. I am impressed with myself. <laughs> okay, um, let me see. Am I missing anything? You guys, my daughter, my youngest daughter was trolling me last week and I didn't even see it. So if she's on here today she said she was going to get on here and i told her not to that makes me nervous we'll have to see she first day of summer vacation here woohoo yay <laughs> yay she's started working for me this summer so she you'll see her probably around quite a bit okay so 
Today, Facebook Friday, we are using Burger Bistro. Who has this set? Have you ordered this set? Are you on the fence? Are you like, mm, I don't know. I'm going to convince you today that you need this set. Um, it's really fun. This free PDF is over at pinkbuckaroo.com. It has all the measurements and the supply list that you need, um, as well as the links to everything that we just talked about. There is a host code attached to today's Facebook Friday. And if you like the projects and you want me to send them to you for free next week, I will do that with uh, an order. All you have to do is put in an online order of $35 or more. And here's the host code to use for that. If your order is over 50, no, over 150, don't use the host code because Stampin' Up's gonna give you Stampin' Rewards and I'll still send you the projects, okay? But um, if you don't use the host code and your order is less than 150, I will just assume you don't want the projects. And that's fine. You know, that's fine. Not gonna hurt my feelings if you don't want them. <laughs> okay, I have a, a prize from last week. Heidi Larson, you are the winner of, look, Bistro Burger. So Heidi, I feel like I have your mailing address, but just in case, please email me and I uh, will get it out to you soon. Thanks for sharing the video. I For next week, I have flower cart. And by the way, I remember when I got sick and I had to cancel Facebook Friday, I had three flower cart projects planned and they're still sitting over there on my calendar. So we're gonna get to them at some point this summer. This bundle carried over into the new catalog and it's beautiful. So um, if you would like a chance to win the flower cart bundle, all you have to do is share the video on Facebook or on YouTube and put in the comments that you shared so that I know, because I don't always see, if we're not Facebook friends already, then I, I may not see in the list of shared, okay? Oh, and then if you want the projects, by the way, this is what they look like when they come. Um, you will need the stamps. And one of the pro cards say I'm using four different stamp sets, and you'll see why. But I don't send any pre-stamped images. You have to do all the stamping yourself. But like circles, um, labels, banners, I will cut those for you. Um, everything else will be cut for you, except for what you will need to cut with the Bistro Burger bundle dies. All right, and I'll make a little thank you card. I mean, thank you tag that goes in. And they ship usually on Wednesday. Uh, last week, last week's Facebook Friday projects, the TV projects, tune in, went out a day late uh, this week. So some of you, I know you get them every week and you know exactly what day they're gonna arrive. So just expect that they may be a day late this week. Okay. So now we got everybody on there. Shoulder surgery, that's not fun. I'm sorry. Um, and Cynthia, I am gonna persuade you that you need this set, it's so cute. It's a great masculine set for, for guys, um, teenagers. My daughters had their best guy friends over yesterday and I was thinking as they were here how this would be a fun set for their birthday cards. So I think you guys will like it. Okay, well, let's get started. The very first card that we're gonna do is this one. And um, I will tell you, I, I was thinking like a barbecue pit <laughs> and I didn't really know how to create a barbecue pit background that would be cute. So I was like, what if we just go all black? And that's what we did. We're gonna do some embossing. We got a black embossing strips, embossed strips and a black circle. Doesn't that just make that really like pop off that card? I think it really does. So let's get started. Fun, fun fact about these dies. Of course you have the dies that cut out the burger and the fries and the pickle, but you also have some other dies and we're gonna use almost every single one of them today. Um, we've got a condiment cup um, and we've got a knife. And I can, I already know there's going to be people using this cute little knife on Halloween cards. I already can see it. Nathan, if you're watching, I know you are. Um, there's a little olives, a jalapeno, and of course the flames, which we used on the racing by um, projects we did a couple of weeks ago. Okay, so let's do the coloring. This one is going to take the longest, so I better just stop chit-chatting and get started. Did you guys see the picture that I posted last Friday after Facebook Live? I went and took a nap. I like to take a Friday afternoon nap. And when I woke up, I was laying there for just a little while and I saw movement out of the corner of my eye from the pillow that was right next to me and it was a scorpion 
in my bed, you guys, in my bed, literally this far from my arm. So now we've had snakes and now I've had scorpions in my bed. We've had scorpions before on the wall, on the floor, outside, in my bed. I am sorry. I have a problem with them being in my bed. I think what happened is that the pillow that was laying next to me was like the sham, the decorative sham that we throw on the floor at night. And we pick them up and put them back on the bed. I'm guessing it was like hanging on from the floor. I couldn't sleep that night. It was awful. I had a hard, hard time sleeping. I still, my daughter, she woke up with a spider on her arm. We had the bug guy out on Thursday. So I think the bug guy stirred them up hopefully brought them out and they're all dying, right? Let's hope, okay? Cause I can't, I cannot do that again. <laughs> I, I remember many, many, many years of, no, Carla, a scorpion, scorpion, which is pretty close to being the same. Um, many years ago, before I tell that story, it's not really a story, before I tell you that, this hamburger bun, you have a lot of options. You can use crumb cake, you can use ivory, you can use um, the natural skin tone stamps. I call them skin tone. They're just called natural tone blends. They're all, to me, they're all the skin tones, right? You can use that. Um, we're gonna use ivory. Remember the ivory and bronze? I feel like I never ever use ivory, but I think it's a good, it's a good one for this. And I'm gonna start on the edges and move to the middle so that it's darker around the edges and in the middle it will be lighter. When um, I was younger, my mother-in-law, um, they lived kind of out in the country, and she told a story about there being a scorpion in her bed, and I was mortified. And I thought, oh my God, how does that happen? Well, now it has happened to us. I don't like it. I'm not happy about it. Um, I'm pulling this color up, and every time I add color, I'm going up a little bit higher. So we kind of have different layers of color here. And you want just this part to be like one layer. So it's light on the top. And then in these little slits in the bun, we're gonna add a couple of layers there, okay? I'm gonna let it dry for a second and then I'll add some more. Um, somebody, a friend of ours, said you could get a black light and, and hunt them. He, he has a buddy who goes into his backyard with a black light and kills them. So my husband and my daughter went out yesterday with a black light and they did find one. So I'm like, that sounds like a losing battle to try to hunt them down in your backyard. Um, Joan, I did not, I screamed for my husband who came running and, and he kind of was like, it's just a scorpion. I'm like, excuse me, excuse me, just a scorpion. I think you would be freaked out, sir, too, if you woke up and there was a scorpion two inches from your arm in your bed. Yeah, we'll just see what happens to him when he gets stung. I'm using um, Pebbled Path on um, the, the patty, the beef. Where's the beef? Right here. We're coloring it Pebbled Path. Um, my daughter got stung by a bee uh, yesterday, and then the day before she got bitten by a horsefly. Do you guys have horseflies where you live? I know a lot of you live like out in the country. Do you have horseflies? Do you have a remedy for horseflies? Because they are very attracted to our pool. And they're out in full force. Okay, lettuce. Now, you have a lot of choices with your greens. Yes, Laura, I am. Yeah, oh yeah, I've been here a long time. Yeah, I am from here. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm sorry, I don't care. Just being from here doesn't make you okay with scorpions in your bed. I don't think anybody's okay with scorpions in their bed or copperheads right outside their door. No, I will never be okay with that. Oh, I just, I just colored the cheese green. You guys got me thinking about snakes. We don't want green cheese on our burger, right? Well, we'll do that little drip right there in Daft of Light. It's either cheese or mustard, I'm not sure. And this little drip right here. I should have done that first. You probably want to do the lightest color first because it's easy to miss it. This is kind of a loose sketch. You'll see a lot of little lines and you want to um, go slowly. And I'm talking and not going slowly. Um, 
and then just use the bullet tip end of your marker so that you can stay nice and neat in those lines. Now this burger has lettuce and tomato, which I am not a fan of. I don't like tomatoes ever, but I like lettuce in a salad, but not on my burger, okay? Not on my burger. I don't like warm lettuce, and that's what happens when you put lettuce on your burger. All right, now I'm gonna use Granny Apple Green for the pickles so that we have a little bit of variation in our greens. And I find this picture strange. There's only two tomatoes, and there should be one right there, but there's not. So maybe this person doesn't like tomatoes all that much either. And there's your burger, all right? Now you can color it with Stampin' Blends. You can color it with watercolor pencils. You could put on watercolor paper and, you know, watercolor it if you want. You have a lot of choices. Now we're gonna cut out, cut this out with the dies, but I wanna show you some things that I cut out ahead of time. The knife comes in two pieces, um, pecan pie and silver foil, all right? So th that's those two pieces. And then we're gonna do three. Oh, I didn't show you the inside. The inside is a gift card holder. All right, let me show you the inside. Isn't that cute? Little fire coming out, and that's where you put your gift card. This one has the gift card in it. So cute, right? Little burger joint gift card. All right, so you cut those out. You also want um, a green, a garden green and a real red jalapeno, which you would not find anywhere near my plate. My husband for sure, me, no thank you. And then the banner, and I think I left this off the supplies. This is the little um, die set. I think it's called Happy Little Things. Somebody will correct me. Happy Little Things. Um, it comes with a little banner and a little label. It's just two dies, and it's really good. So cut those out. Then you're gonna want to cut also a basic black circle. And I am using the new Spotlight on Nature dies. I forgot that I had these and I keep seeing everybody use them. And then I found mine, I was like, oh, I haven't even opened them. And now I'm a little bit obsessed with these circles. So you'll see them probably every week for the next two months. Um, one, of the, one of those circles from Basic Black. Then I've got a piece of Basic Black, um, we're gonna cut the basic black into strips after we emboss it. You want them to be three and three fourths by one and a half. Um, and I'm gonna emboss it with this really cool new embossing folder called, I gotta look at my notes, Dashing Designs. And then you want a little black strip for the inside as well. Little, just a little half inch strip. So put that in when you're using one of our 3D embossing folders. You need to use plate one and plate four. That's it. You don't need the clear plates, okay? All right, so we've got that. And we'll cut that apart. See if I can get it out. You guys, remember how I told you last week I cut my finger with the food processor blade? It is still, because it's right here on the edge of my pointer finger of my right hand, it is not healing. And it's driving me bonkers. I cannot stand to have a Band-Aid on my finger. And, and I, but if I don't, I keep reopening it. <sighs> it's very annoying. Remember the little Band-Aids? They were like, like, a one, like a little, like a one and a half inch by half inch. Do you guys remember those little Band-Aids? Um, I can't find them anywhere. That's the kind of Band-Aid I want. So it's not big and bulky. And I went... We have a bazillion Band-Aids in our Band-Aid drawer. I mean, a bazillion. And not one of them is that kind of Band-Aid. I went to, I don't know, CVS, Walgreens, one of them, and looked at every single box of Band-Aids they have, and they didn't have them either. So I bought some weird finger Band-Aids. They wouldn't stay on. I'm just having some issues. <laughs> I'm having Band-Aid issues. Are they children's, children's Band-Aids or... Didn't they used to come like in a little, like a little variety pack? I don't know what's happening, why I can't find them. Liquid Band-Aid, well here's the thing, it's like a, it's like a, it's not just split, it's like a chunk missing <laughs> from my finger. Sorry, I know that's gross, but I don't think, 
I don't think super glue or skin glue or whatever will help because it is, a, you know, it's like a, it's not just a split. It's not just a slice. I'm getting my nails done tomorrow. I've put it off long enough. Now, do you guys see what I did with the jalapeno? I cut off the top of the red and we've glued it on to the green one so that we have a green top on it. And then the knife, I put a little bit of glue there and we're just gonna set that down on there, the handle. I'm gonna have to tell my nail girl, she's gonna have to, um, oh, Laura, the tin, the Band-Aid tin. Yes, I remember that, a little metal Band-Aid, yes. Blast from the past. They don't make that anymore, I don't think. Um, I'm gonna have to tell my nail girl, she's gonna have to be very careful because these nails have got to go. They have been around longer than they, their life expectancy ended about a week ago. <laughs> Variety packs. So I have bought a variety. We have several variety packs in our little, in our little pharmacy drawer here at the house, but none of them are that little tiny band-aid. I didn't look on Amazon. I should probably have looked on Amazon. They're probably there. All right, this, we're going to make these flames just like we did uh, two weeks ago. I'm taking Daffodil Delight with my small blending brush and I'm going over these. I cut three whoops, three white um, flames. This, these uh, flames are from the Bistro Burger set. Okay, and then we'll get pumpkin pie. Check out what? Wellies. Oh, those, um, those, yes, I know exactly what you're talking about. But aren't they like, um, Decorative? Do they have like different sizes? I'm, now I'm taking pumpkin pie and going over the top. And and are they the ones that have the sensitive? I, I feel like we've had those welly band-aids before. I don't know. I'm just I'm just in a complaining mood. I'm just complaining. I went a little bit further than the tips on that one. You just want to do the tips. And if you do like this little circular mo circular motion it will give you like a little swirly fire vibe on your flames. Five snakes the other day, Sandra. No, ooh, 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 ooh. I do not like snakes. <sighs> Knock on wood. We're not, gonna, we're not gonna say the S word because if I start talking about it, I'm gonna manifest it and it's gonna show up. All right, I'm just gonna take Cajun Craze and Spring, or spritz oh remember we learned what did she do again she just tapped it didn't she you can tap tap instead because i have ruined the tip of this one i've done this so much okay i think we've got all of our pieces one two three let's stamp our sentiment now if i were you i would stamp this and cut it second because this is very very narrow I cut it out to save time, but let's see how I did. Oh, don't look. That was terrible. Let's try again. Let's see. We may have to. Okay, I think this is going to be better. Let me see. Mm, it's not perfect. It's good enough. Sometimes, you guys, good enough is good enough. Right? Sometimes. <laughs> perfect isn't always necessary. All right, cut your little black strips into one and a half inch. You're gonna have three of them. Um, I always have a hard time on this little cutter telling where is one and a half, what's quarter, it's very strange. All right, now let's, we're gonna load up. One thing we need to do, let me get my little foam mat. We're gonna stick the knife through the jalapeno, okay? And so to do that, we're gonna get the take your pick tool crafter tip. Very, be very, very careful, you guys. And you're just gonna stab it and go like all the way through. And careful, careful. Oh, come on. Now I've got it embedded too far. I pulled it all the way out. Let's see, there we go. Okay, I'm gonna set this over here so that I can fix that later. Now, 
hopefully I made it wide enough and you just take your knife and you feed it through your jalapeno. Let's pull it up just a little bit further like that. Okay, so see how it's like stabbed, the jalapeno? And then we will put it on the back of our burger. Just stay with me here. You'll see in just a second what this is gonna look like. Let me get my dimensionals. I would use liquid glue, but this is gonna be faster. You can stick this in your burger if you want. It has a little, has a little slit right there. See that? Where you can glue it behind. You just put your dimensional on the back of it and it serves double duty. It's gonna hold your burger onto the black circle and it's also gonna hold your knife in place. Okay, let's look. See, how cute. All right, put that right there on your circle. <clears throat> and then bring your flames over. And we're gonna put some flames, <coughs> excuse me. Um, I'm gonna put some with liquid glue. <coughs> oh, I have something in my throat. Sorry about that. A little tickle. And then this one, had, did you guys know that we have, hold, hold on, hold on, I never use them, but this is the perfect card for the black um, dimensionals. The pack comes with both many dimensionals and regular size dimensionals, so you get both, because you don't use them as much as the, the white ones. And then you stick this down kind of off-centered like that. So it's coming out of the flames from the barbecue pit. All right, now let's get our card base. I know, I do too, Carla. I actually had to go dig them out of my drawer because I don't ever use them. If I keep them out, then I will use them. Um, all right, with our strips, we're going to put <clears throat> one pointing down and then we'll put the bottom one also gosh can you guys even see this this one pointing down and then this one's going up so it's kind of like a z shape do, 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 like that i promise you in person it looks really cool all right then dimensionals on the back and we're gonna put that kind of like, kind of angled to the side. And we'll take, I don't, I'm not gonna get my many dimensionals. I'm just gonna use this edge right here. Oh, I should have used the black again, oh well. See, I just forget, I forget. All right, and we'll put that right there. I literally was talking about them and I forgot to use them. Um, linen thread, where are you? Right here. Just because it's a guy card doesn't mean it can't have a bow. This is a very gender neutral bow. <laughs> I think it'd be just fine for you to use this on a man's card. Now, if it was a big pink bow, maybe not. I don't know, maybe. But I think a linen thread bow is just perfect for a guy card. Okay. Now, let's do the inside. I have a piece of DSP. This is just like a half, one and a half inch strip by four and a fourth, the width of the card. You can use real red, cherry cobbler, old olive, granny apple green, whatever. Any of it would all, you know, whatever. It can match any of those colors on the front. You put glue just on the sides and the bottom, and you come down here and you glue it across the bottom. You just make a pocket. Doesn't have to be anything super fancy. And then I'm gonna take my strip that we embossed and we're gonna stick this glue behind it like that, okay? And then we'll take some more glue and we'll stick this onto the DSP. Oh, I forgot to put the white paper down. Well, this one's not gonna have white paper. <laughs> okay, we can solve that problem. Hold on. 
we'll make it a small white paper because you do want to have space to write your message. So what if we just did it like this? Yeah, I think that would work because like, this is a pocket, right? So if we put that down like that and then put some adhesive and now it just looks like it was supposed to be there. All right, and then, okay, I'm gonna hold the glue. Count to 100, no, not really. Um, it's not doing good, Brittany, it hurts. I keep, I keep bumping it on everything and it keeps reopening and I can't get it to heal. It's not feeling good. All right, see this right here? This, right, that's where you would slide your gift card in. It's a pocket. And last but not least, let's, that, that feels like it's sticking pretty far out. I might put a mini dimensional on the back of that so it would lay down a little bit flatter. I don't know, <laughs> it's like really out high. I guess, look, I did put a dimensional on the back of that. So yeah, let's get a black dimensional. I'm like, woo, that's gonna get caught on something for sure. We'll put one right there. Take off the backing. So you guys, it's been like a thousand degrees here already. And they're like, it's too early for this heat. So what is it gonna be like in August? <sighs> so there's that. Y'all know how I feel about this heat that comes in the summer. Makes me sad, it's too hot. <laughs> so just get ready, you're gonna have three months of me complaining about the heat, okay? All right, I use the neutral adhesive back sequins on the front and that's it. Fun, right? I really, really like that black. I thought maybe I was a little bit crazy when I started that, but I really like the, the black. I think it makes everything pop, especially the fire. Um, Brittany, you must have not been here earlier when we were talking about it. The super glue won't work because it's, it's like a chunk of my finger is missing. And it, it doesn't need to be glued back together. It just needs to... You know, like, it needs to regrow. <laughs> I know this is disgusting. Why am I talking about it? Uh, next week. I'm sure it'll be much better next week. Of course, I thought that last week, too. Okay, there is our first card. Let me clean up, and we will do our second card. Um, thanks, Nicole. Yeah, I like the black, too. I, um... I know a lot of people don't want to use black on their cards at all, but I do like it. It makes for a dramatic, a dramatic card. All right, now next up, the French fries. I have to tell you that French fries are my very favorite food in the universe. If I was on death row and they said, you have one meal left, I would say a giant plate of French fries, please. I, do, I love them, they're so delicious. <laughs> when they're done right. Nothing worse than soggy french fries. So I had to make the fries its own card. And I was like, let's come up with a fun saying for the french fries. And I found this sentiment from saying, hey, hey, good looking. And I thought that was really fun to put with the french fries. So that's what we're using, saying hey. Now we also needed some splatter, ketchup splatter, drops, if you will. And so I'm using two different ones. Of Art and Texture is this little one. And then Latte Love has a great splatter right here. So we're gonna use both of those to make our little ketchup splattered red piece. And we are going to watercolor this time, okay? So when you watercolor, by the way, I had did this yesterday and I put down my blinds and it knocked the bowl over and spilt yellow water all over. It's typical Erica, just leave it sitting there and then it made a huge, huge makes a huge mess. You too, Ashley, yes. I mean, sometimes if we go somewhere, I'm like, you know, I'm just gonna have french fries. Why bother with any of the other stuff? I just want french fries. If I'm feeling real like, naughty and I'm gonna eat real bad, it's gonna be french fries. Okay, we're gonna stamp the french fries in stays on, okay, because we're gonna watercolor. Now, we need a few random french fries for the inside. I didn't show you the inside. See that right there? And we just need a couple of random ones. So I'm gonna take this bottom section, because my paper's not big enough really to do two sets, and I'm just gonna stamp some down there on the bottom. We're gonna cut those out and away from there so 
it'll make sense in a little while. All right, let me grab a paper towel, hold on. All right, if you get soggy french fries in your, you know, like if you pick up dinner and bring it home and you get soggy french fries by the time you get home, if you take those french fries and you put them in your air fryer for like five minutes, it brings them back to life and they are crispy and delicious and hot. So there's a little tip for you. If you have an air fryer, that's what I love to use my air fryer for. <laughs> is to re bring my soggy french fries back to life. All right, now what I've done here is I've gotten crushed curry. I think I put daffodil delight on the supply list, but we're using crushed curry. I've got my water painter and we're just going to go in here and paint these little french fries. And um, I've got a little bit too much water. Uh, when, if you buy our water painters, you get three in a pack and you have a very skinny one, fine tip, which is what I'm using here. Uh, you're gonna have a big wide brush, which is great for like making backgrounds, um, like a watercolor wash, watercolor background. And then you have like a medium tip one for just everything in between, right? And so just make sure you're using the right watercolor or water painter so that you, you know, if you try to use a big fat one here, you're gonna be frustrated. But just go slow. I did try, like I was like, let's see if I just did a wash and then cut them out and it didn't look good. So I did it again and I was more precise. I feel like these needed to be more precise. So just color in each of your little fries. My favorite fries, McDonald's definitely has good fries. I love Wendy, Wendy's fries. What about you guys? Chick-fil-A, I'm not a big waffle fry fan. My girls love them. I mean, I believe me, I eat them. But they would not be my death row meal. Um, we were some, oh, somewhere, look, I think Sonic. You guys have Sonic where you are? I think they've got new French fries. I've got to go try them. Although I, ugh, I never like Sonic. I feel like it's just never good. Nothing is very good anymore when we go out to eat. I feel like, is it me? Is it my old age? Or is it just quality has gone down? Oh yeah, Denise, yes. That is definitely top three for me. Uh, she said curly fries from Arby's. Yes. Oh my gosh. Yes. All right, I've got the pie, and I'm going to take you know, I don't wanna get all this water in here. So let's just put a little bit on our block like that. And we're gonna just get this a little bit and you just wanna drop a little bit of the brown in here, you know, like a little, give it a little burnt a little bit, just to add a little bit of variety to our fries. Okay, and there we go. You didn't know you needed a French fry stamp, did you? I didn't know. I didn't know I needed one, but now I do. Uh, you definitely need a french fry stamp. Well, I wish we had uh, a whole french fry set with like, you know, like a little holder. That would be cute. And then you could personalize the front of it. That would be super cute. Okay, we're gonna set this aside to dry. Um, let's do the hay good looking. So we're gonna do a little bit of fussy cutting. I know, calm down. Don't get mad at me. If you don't wanna do the fussy cutting, it's okay, you don't have to, just do a rectangle, okay? A&W fries are battered. Okay, Brittany, we don't have that here. Now that I'm saying that, I'm thinking maybe we do have one. I'm thinking of where it might be. I don't think I've ever eaten there. Um, Chick-fil-A and Wendy's, yes. Uh, Sonic has buffalo chicken crisp. It is not a big fan of buffalo. So is it spicy? Because I don't like buffalo either. Um, I am a chicken when it comes, or I'm a baby. We should say that. I'm a baby when it comes to spicy. I do, although I like jalapeno chips. If you've ever had a like a kettle-cooked jalapeno chip, that's very delicious. Not too spicy. Just enough to make you drink your whole Diet Coke, you know? Okay, so we've stamped the hay in pecan pie, and we have stamped the good looking in real red. Now here's my tip. It's not too spicy. You don't like spicy. Okay, I'll have to try that. 
Buffalo scares me to death. I had a, I ordered a buffalo salad one time at Wendy's. I mean at um, Chili's. I didn't know what I, I didn't know what buffalo was, and it came, and I mean it was hotter than hot. I couldn't eat it, and so now I'm like, stay away from anything buffalo. All right, now if you're gonna cut fussy cut something, especially words, get your pencil and just go around, make it like a little cloud. Remember when we were teenagers and we would write on our book covers and we would make bubble letters and just do like that, like a bubble outside of the letter. And I'm just kind of, kind of dotting it so that it's, you know, as I'm going around, if you make a mistake here, that's the thing, you can erase and fix it. But if you do, if you just go for it with your scissors, you can't, or, you know, you, if you make a mistake with your scissors, you can't fix it. You have to start over. So do, do like the, the pre-work with your pencil and then just get your, your paper snips. And I put these on the supply list, I think. Didn't I? Yeah, because you guys, seriously, if you don't have paper snips yet, you need you need to get them. They're very, very good. They, they, I have had, you can see how old these are. This ribbon is probably 10 years old. And I've had them that long and they are still super sharp. All right, I'm just gonna go super slow. Make, you wanna stay right in the middle of your blade, turning with your opposite hand, like this. And then when you're done, if you see any pencil lines, just erase them, like that. All right, pretty good, oops, pretty good, not bad, not, not, is it perfect? No, is that okay? Yes, it's okay doesn't have to be perfect. All right, good looking. We're just gonna chop this one, make it a rectangle like that. Okay, we got that, we got that. Now for our ketchup splatter, cause my kids inevitably are gonna leave a drip. Lately it's been jelly on the counter every time when they make their peanut butter and jelly. There's always jelly on my counter. So ketchup is, you know, like that too. So real red ink on real red cardstock. Just go around, you know, and I'm turning my stamp, I'm turning the paper so that the splatters are all different. And you don't even have to take this one, but you can and just kind of fill in some of that space so that it looks really like a bunch of teenagers. I had a bunch of teenager, teenagers at my house this week. Um, one of the kids had like a little party, like about eight of them, and boy, it was like a tornado. My cleaning lady had just been there, and they were like a darn tornado that came through and just, the bathroom, I won't even describe to you what the bathroom looked like. I mean, I'm like, what? <laughs> What, what is happening? What is happening? Ugh. Teenagers. All right. Get your um, your little red, real red piece and take your, this is the second largest stylish shape circle. It's not up today, Carla? What? Thank you for letting me know. I'll fix it in just a second. I, I just scheduled it. You know, I feel like it doesn't go up at least 50% of the time. <laughs> I should just not schedule it and just put it up. And then it'll be up. Who cares if it doesn't go at the right time? All right. Now, French fries, they have their own dye. You also want to get, there's a little, um, there's a little banner dye. I forgot we also need to do the condiment. So, so, okay, banner die right here. You want three of these. And then this is a little cup for your um, condiments, if you will. Ketchup, mayonnaise, whatever you dip your fries in. Honey mustard, Chick-fil-A sauce. Those are, Chick-fil-A sauce is pretty darn good. You know, you can buy Chick-fil-A sauce in the bottle. 
and we do. And their, if you've never had their avocado lime dressing, it is amazing and you can get that in the bottle too. Delicious. Okay, so here's the little cup, right? Oh, well, let me get this out of the way and then I'll show you. Make sure you put your die back where it goes. Over here. Move this out of the way. And so here's the cup. And then in this little die is either your ketchup, your whatever, whatever sauce, whatever you want to dip. Oh, Gail, have you had that salad dressing? Oh my gosh, it's so good. It's so good. I love that Chick-fil-A salad with the chicken nuggets and that avocado lime dressing. Mmm, delish. Delish. All right, so there's our ketchup. Okay, I think we've got all of our pieces. I already cut out the little banners. There they are, right there. And I'm gonna take, this is just a smoky slate card base. This designer series paper, do you recognize it? It's from Take to the Sky. We're not using the clouds today. We're just using the grid. All right, and then we'll get our little frame that we made. And, you know, you have four fingers. You can get four dimensionals at one time. If you make swaps, if you do that, it makes it go fast. <laughs> do you guys do that? I've done it for a long time. All right, now, French fries are going to go in the middle. Okay. Like that. And then ketchup goes slip it behind like that okay and we get our hay and I'm gonna put I'm gonna put this like this kind of half in the circle half out so I'm gonna put the dimensional right here on the top so that then I can just put the dimensional like that Right, and then um, Hey Good Looking is a long skinny strip, so why don't we use our adhesive, foam adhesive strips for that. Okay, we'll put that right there. And then we're gonna do our flags, our little pennant. And I'm just gonna willy-nilly put the glue dots down and hope that I put them, I mean the dots of glue down and hope that they are relatively close to where I want them. <laughs> I think it'll be fine. I think it'll be fine. Let's see. And then we can just kind of wiggle things around like that. There. That's not bad. It's pretty good. All right. Um, some of these dots for days, these little yellow ones, are cute. And we'll put those on here. Put one like that. Now for the inside. Now this is a step, it's probably a little over, overkill here. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. Little splatter of ketchup. Then remember those french fries that we did just a little bit, partial right here. Cut a few of those out. And glue them on the inside, right? Just around your ketchup. All right, are you guys hungry yet? What are you gonna have for dinner? We had pizza once already this week, so we're not having pizza. We had spaghetti for two nights in a row, and now I'm like, oh, gotta come up with something. I don't like to cook on Fridays. It's been a weird week. The last week of school is the last week of school weird where you guys are at. They had like uh, two full days, Monday and Tuesday, but they they only went to like three classes one day, five classes another day, and then they had two half days where they went to two classes each day. And but then if they had lunch, they only had to go in at eleven. It was like the most bizarre schedule. So it's been weird all week. Very weird. All right, there's our little ketchup splatter with a few fries. 
Let me see if I can get this back in. And then we'll put this on the inside and done. Now, again, if you wanted to turn this into a gift card holder, just do the same thing. Put that paper across there and turn it into a gift card holder. What do you guys think? The sentiment's pretty funny, I think. Hey, good looking. I thought it was pretty funny. What do you guys think? Uh, Bolt House makes a yummy cilantro avocado dressing. Mmm, I'll have to check that. Oh, Karen, chicken salad chick. We are addicted to chicken salad chick. Yep, burgers. Mmm, taco salad. I haven't had a taco salad in a very long time. That sounds delicious. Okay, one more. One more card. And the pickle is the star of our next card. We had to make a pickle card. We had to make a pickle card, okay? Now, I couldn't remember the name of this technique where you stamp all over and then you cut, or maybe you stack them and you stamp it, but then you stack the three pieces on top and you put a different piece of cardstock under each layer. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? I looked and I think it's called triple time. Those of you who have been around a while, is that what this is called? We're not doing triple, we're doing double. So maybe it's a double time card. We're gonna cut the center of it out and pop it up a little bit, okay? <laughs> I've inspired you to have burgers for dinner tonight, Michelle. Excellent, excellent. Okay, now this is a funny sentiment. Where's my stamp set? You're kind of a big deal. I wish it said dill, you're kind of a big deal. So if you wanna change that and, you know, mask that off and put D-I-L-L -L with your little dies that would be cute too but i'm just gonna stamp it um it is called triple time stamping yeah yeah okay well we're just doing two so maybe it's double time stamping <laughs> i don't know double time triple time who cares i don't know what to call it but you guys know you get the idea we are going to start with our little pickle have you guys ever had a pickle stamp before i mean First French fry stamp, now pickle stamp. I mean, it just is so fun. All right, we're gonna start with Granny Apple Green, okay? We're using Granny Apple Green with Garden Green. And we're just gonna, kinda like we did with the um, ketchup, we're just gonna go around and stamp the pickle. What is happening? I'm not inking it very well. Let me get that out of the way. I'll have to cover that one up. That one did not stamp well. And you wanna just turn it each time so that it's going in different directions. You can have some just like a little bit. Let's do, let's do like this and like that and like that, okay? All right, then you need to get your basic white. Do I have my stamp cleaner? anywhere in the vicinity let me look hold on where is it well i don't know is it over here yep here it is all right let's clean it and stamp it three times in memento black fried pickles dipped in ranch carla that just made my mouth water delicious delish Everybody in my family likes that. There's not many things that we all like, but that is definitely one of them. All right, now we use our old olive and garden green, I mean, um, gravy apple green over here, so let me get them. We're gonna color two of these granny apple green and two, uh, and then just one of them old olives so that our pickles have a little variety. Now, did I tell you guys about the Davina pickles that I got at our local H-E-B? H-E-B is our big grocery store here in uh, Texas. They have a whole section that's like cheeses and meats and everything charcuterie, right? And I found these Davina pickles and they're like in a, like a little plastic tub, like they, they boxed them this, themselves there in the store, so I don't know. They're, it's just H-E-B brand, and they are so good. So good. They're super full of flavor, and they're like them. Almost like, oh, is that dark? Yep, we don't want dark. We'll just put a little bit of dark down here on the bottom. They're like a mix of sweet and dill. 
I don't know. Uh, Kayleen, my arm, it's, it's um, tennis elbow again. It's back, my tennis elbow. So it's just this thing you wear that's supposed to help. And it does help. That's all it is. So nothing really, just overuse. Okay, so now, Davina Pickles. If you find them in your store, I don't know why if Davina is like the flavor, because they have other things that are, they have like a olive, Davina olive, olives, and Davina, I think I'm saying it right. There's like an olive spread. I don't know, but the pickles are to die for. Okay, back to what we are doing. We're gonna put, this is the, you know what, I'm gonna use my post-it tape if I can find it, because I don't wanna make this quick. Um, we're using the smaller, I have a new one, so I gotta get it started. Smaller of the radiating stitches, dies. All right, let me get this started. What is going on? Okay, it's in here backwards. Okay, whatever. I don't have time to mess with that. All right, let's see. Let's get it just centered. Okay, that looks pretty centered, right? All right, so that's going to go on there in the middle. And then here we need the pickle die because everybody needs a pickle die. All right. If you have a someone in your life who loves pickles, and we all know that one person who like is obsessed with pickles. This is a perfect card for that. My mom's best friend when I was a kid would come to our house and drink the pickle juice straight from the jar. I know, that I love pickles, but that grosses me out. She loved it. Mom, my mom would always save the pickle juice for her. All right, so we're gonna cut all three of these out. Also, what we need to do, there's a little olive here little teeny tiny die it looks like this it's both parts of the olive so we're gonna have to cut it from both garden green and real red your granddaughter is obsessed with pickles yeah see we all know somebody who's like super obsessed my dad used to eat sweet pickles with his lunch every day Jimmy John's pickles. Okay, I haven't been to Jimmy John's in years and years, and it seems like I remember something about their pickles. Are they the ones that had like a little pickle condiment thing up by the register? I'm having a very brief memory of that, and I cannot remember it, but now I'm thinking we need to have Jimmy John's for dinner so I can find out. Pickle juice is great marinade for chicken. So Nancy, interesting tidbit. Chick-fil-A actually marinates their chicken in pickle juice. If you Google Chick-fil-A copycat recipe for their chicken nuggets, that's what it tells you to do, is to put it in pickle juice. It makes sense, right? Totally, I mean, it sounds like something you would, oh, one more thing I gotta cut out, the flag. Um, sounds like something for sure that would be in a good marinade. Now you guys are making my, you know, you get that little tingle in the back of your mouth when you think of something that's like pickles and sour and delicious. Deliciousness. Okay. Now, Jimmy John's pickles. I gotta think about Jimmy John's pickles. Your husband drinks the pickle juice. <laughs> you know, Every, I, I, I mean, I'm truly convinced that everybody's taste buds taste things in different ways. Uh, I mean, take cilantro, for example, right? Some people think cilantro tastes like dish soap. Now, I'm putting a hole in the middle of each one of these. Whereas some of us normal people <laughs> think cilantro tastes delicious. My daughter is one of those that says it tastes like dish soap. And they just say people's, um, these are toothpicks. I'm trying to get one out. Come on. Um, people's tastes are just different. Everybody tastes things differently, I think. All right, now you're going to thread these onto a pickle. There is a pickle, I mean, a, oh my gosh, toothpick. There's a toothpick die in this set. But I just felt like using a real toothpick would be easier. 
since I have them here, I just you got that. Okay, we're gonna put a little blue dot there kind of to hold them in place. Once you get them kind of spread out, no little blue dots stay there. And that one, just have that glue dot just kind of barely touching the stick. Then let's get this little olive. You wanna use you want to use this little green part right here and then the little red solid. I mean, this is so tiny and just a teeny, itty bitty, teeny tiny dot of glue. Okay. And then take this, let me turn it over. This is backwards. Come on. Oh, these nails have got to go. They are too long. All right, and then glue that. And then there, now you have your little tiny olive. Can you guys even see it? Here, let me put it in my hand. Oh, it's so tiny. Come on, come on, see how, I mean, it's like a tiny baby. <laughs> it's so cute. All right, so now get your little flag. I'm just gonna use glue dots for all of this. Put a couple of glue dots on the edge of your flag like that. We are not gonna thread the um, olive through the toothpick, although I will tell you I did try. I did try, and it was a disaster, so don't do that. Just put it on with a glue dot. Oh gosh, okay, come on. There we go, there we go, there we go. Now everything is stuck to the table because I set it down. Let's get everything situated. Okay, there is our cute pickle arrangement. It was a lot of work, that little pickle arrangement. All right, now here, you're gonna watch me do something that's probably gonna take me a couple of tries. This is, oh, I didn't put this on the supply list either. This is from, you guys remind me every time I forget forget the name. Um, Flower something, park, I don't know. I'll, somebody will tell us what die set that is from. P park something, gosh, I can't remember. Okay, we're gonna stamp this in two different colors. I am going to, now, you can do this several ways. You can put tape on here, stamp it, un clean it, undo, do, but I'm going to, I'm just going to be daring. I'm going to go like this. I usually only do this with clear, clear stamps so that I can see what I'm doing, but I'm going to just roll the dice and see, and you can really look on the back and see where your ink is going. Sentimental Park. Thank you, Teresa. Yes, that's exactly right. Right now, if I can stamp it straight, it will be a miracle. Uh, is it? Mm, mm, mm. Let's try it. I have another one. Let's see if we can do one a little bit better. Okay. If you have your stamp positioning tool, just get it out and do this. It'll be so much easier. But I'm always like, I can do it. I don't need that thing. And then it takes me like eight tries. All right, here we go. Well, it would have been good had I inked that all the way. All right, well, we're, we're just gonna go for it. I mean, I only have two die cuts. Which one, where's the other one? I think this one is better. All right, now back to this. Remember we cut this out of the middle. Let's pull this out. I'm going, I'm running late today, I know. I usually try to be done three-ish. But today's projects were long. All right, now, get this one we're going to adhere. That pickle did not stamp well. Good thing we're gonna cover it up. Put this on, mat it on a piece of garden green. Get your garden green card base. And do I have foam adhesive sheet? I do. I'm just gonna cut off some of these fat, big, large, however you want to describe them, foam adhesive strips. I love using these. And I'm gonna put one on each side. And we're gonna pop that up. And then we're gonna double up on the one in the middle and make it even higher. Triple time stamping. I haven't done that in probably 10 years, that technique. That's why I couldn't remember what it was called. 
All right, now take this and put this on here like that. Oh, I forgot to go fix the, the post. Okay, I will do it, I promise. I will do it as soon as we're done. If my blog post is not up. All right now, double up two pieces of foam so that it'll be taller than your frame. Okay, like that. And then we just need regular dimensionals. Somewhere on this desk is a, here we go. And we're gonna put this right here, like that. And our little pickle, our little pickle stick. Let's see, how do I wanna do this? Um, just, just use glue dots. I don't remember what I did on the other two. Now, if you guys are gonna come back and watch these, like you wanna make them later, just remember there are individual recordings of each of these projects over on YouTube. And it zooms in and edited and probably easier to watch. All right, and then some linen thread around the fold. You're kind of a big deal. I wish, I really wish they had just made it dill. You're kind of a big dill. I guess you couldn't use big dill if you were just using the hamburger. I don't know. All right, I didn't tie that tight enough, but it's good enough for now. Okay, white piece on the inside, a little strip. Oh no, guys, pretend like you didn't see that. No, look away everybody, you did not see me just do that. Rip my cardstock like an amateur. Come on, it happens a lot. Certain colors, for whatever reason, rip easier than others. It's usually the blues. All right, put that on there. And then put, this is the two market plaid designer series paper put that on there and you can make that a pocket too these could all be gift card holders if you wanted them to be and there you go you're kind of a big deal so cute pickled and let me tell you i looked and looked and looked for a pickle treat and i found pickle flavored cashews but I could only find them on Amazon and they came in an 18 pack and I didn't want 18 packs of dill pickle cashews. So I didn't, I didn't make anything with it. I know I didn't, I didn't make a pickle, pickle snack or a pickle treat. All right, let's look at what we made. We made the French fries, the pickles and the hamburger. I gave you an idea for each stamp in the set. Okay. Um, here's a swap card that I got, and I don't know who it's from. You're kind of a big deal. That's cute. Very cute. Um, this, you know, we didn't use this die right here, this one, but it, oh, well, I do have another card with it. It is like a, I don't know if it's like a table or a tablecloth or, I don't know, placemat, but probably a placemat where you can set your stuff down. Here's another card. I'll have this on Monday, okay? And then here's the treat box that I did make. Inside are gummy fries and gummy burgers. And the tutorial will be up for this next week. Okie dokie. All right, you guys, if you want these projects, make sure your uh, qualifying order is in by Monday. Midnight has to be over $35 before tax and shipping. Um, use the host code and uh, that's it. Order whatever you want. But I would encourage you to look at our bundle sale. Because a bundle, I, I really feel like that bundle sale is pretty rare. I don't, in my memory, can't think of a time when they've ever done a bundle sale. So take advantage of it. Uh, the prices are really good. You guys have a wonderful weekend. Let me know if you have questions. And we'll be back next week with um, Round We Go. Is that what it's called? Round We Go? Um, the little uh, paper rosettes. I've had fun playing with those. So join me next week for that, okay? Thanks, guys. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful weekend. Bye.